Hello everyone, today's topic is about writing content. So, uh, today I'm going to talk to, to you about how to write content. And by content, I mean it's everything that you put on your web page or YouTube or Instagram. Let's go to my PowerPoint slides. So, as I said before, uh, content can be defined as uh, pictures, videos, or written postings online that are aimed to attract your viewers' attention and then persuade them to look further or to make purchase. This is what you want. This is the eventually what you want to, to reach or to attain uh, by writing a content. Now, please uh, keep in mind that netizens do not read online in linear fashion. They skim the screen quickly to find the most suitable or interesting phrases. Now you have to realize this, you are not writing for lecturers or professors, you are writing to a lot of netizens who do not care about your wording, about your grammar even. Uh, they are interested, they want to know what your content is, what is the most attractive point in your content. And so when writing content, do not write like writing academic papers or thesis. Do not start with introduction and then review of the background, review of related literature, forget it. That's, that's not going to apply here. You have to grab their attention fast because they are very <coughs> quickly, they are quick, they quickly move from one page to another. If you find, if they find that your page is not interesting, they will quickly switch to another page and then you will lose your potential customers. So on one page or on one show, either on YouTube or Instagram or Facebook, you've, you've got to grab their attention fast because they move very quickly. Yeah. Okay, so let's look at this uh, content. You know, this is the content of a communication skills training. Yeah, and you see, uh, Long sentences are written, complete with the background of the problem, uh, and then the aim of the uh, training. Yeah, all is expressed in complete and long sentences. Now, who is going to write to read something like this? Editions do not have time. Once they see this kind of thing, they will just uh, leave, and they will move some. They will move on to something more interesting, something catchier, something with which entertain their eyes, something which attracts their attention and uh, pull them to explore further. And that's not definitely is going to be achieved with something like this. Very long, very formal. Yeah? You don't do like this in your content writing. So you see, this is the still the continuation of the same content. Yeah, sorry for the writer. I do not mean to insult him, but uh, uh, his content is a good example of a bad example. <laughs> it's a good example of a bad case. Now let's look at the better content. See, this is now expressed in more succinct, more concise uh, expressions. Hidup di dunia modern itu melelahkan. Terburu-buru, bersaing, berebut. Akhirnya stres dan jenuh melanda. Obatnya, berliburlah. Tanpa bertanya pun, kami yakin Anda pasti suka berlibur ke pantai secantik ini. And then it is accompanied by a very attractive visual. And then, nikmati traveling ke pantai pasir putih dengan paket tour kami. Straight forward to your company, your offer. Yeah. And since people are very sensitive to prices, then you go straight away to the prices mulai dari tahun 50000 untuk tiga hari <coughs> sorry okay so uh, this is a better content in the sense that it's not expressed in long and winding uh, sentences yeah but in short sentences effective in conveying the messages and accompanied with an interesting visual visuals can be still pictures like this or it can be moving video, which is even better. But again, it has to go with the writing. Okay. So this is a good example. 
of a good content. Now, tips is uh, put your most important information first when you write content writing, when you write content for your web page. Put your most important information first because that's the thing that uh, quickly catches uh, your customers or your viewers' attention. Yeah. And then um, write simple and to the point. Need quick translation? Call us. That's better than. Do you often get overwhelmed by the amount of documents, blah, 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 something like that? Yeah, it's not effective. <coughs> and then use bulleted points to present your details concisely. Bulleted points can be very effective when you want to detail things. Yeah. Use simpler words rather than low frequency words. Yeah. So you can write confused, which is better than the word perplexed. Of course, this means the same thing as confused, but this one is more low frequency. This is a low frequency word, and only very few people uh, know this, and it's not effective. If you want to aim at the, at the mass, at the general people, who probably, most of whom probably are not familiar with the word perplexed. And the more familiar word for them is confused. Use short paragraphs. Four sentences for each paragraph are good. Uh, use short sentences, just 12 sentences on average. Yeah. So of course you can write something, but do not write too long. If you write a paragraph, make sure that the paragraph contains only four sentences. And if you write sentences, uh, keep them short and make them only 12 or 13. Or, around that but not longer than not longer than that yeah wherever suitable uh, present pictures or even short videos instead of long explanation netizens especially millennials like watching pictures like watching videos moving pictures moving images and you can you can put this um, moving pictures and still pictures to make your content more lively more relevant yeah. more attractive in short okay now if you are if you maintain a blog that's that's good and uh, what's the advantage of blogs blogs provide a wider space to compose an essay now you can write an essay in a blog but of course you have to write interesting stories as blog posting so stories will likely captivate the netizens attention because everybody likes stories especially if it is real and it's uh, poignant and it directly uh, is relevant to the matter or to the to your product yeah. stories can be experience of people before using your product or service and after using them so this is a kind of plot a simple plot yeah for your stories or a story of people in a trouble which eventually leads to your product or service as the solution yeah, for example people who have problems with their hair and then after long uh, search for a uh, cure for the hair they finally come to your product and the problem is solved yeah, the hair is now uh, fresh and sweet smelling yeah, and healthy and fresh looks fresh yeah. so that can be a simple plot which you can follow which you can use or which you can apply when you want to write stories for your plots again remember that stories are always interesting for netizens and then once again you can accompany them with some pictures or clips to make it more attractive we call it multimodal yeah. multimodal means uh, you do not post only writing, but you, you also accompany it with pictures and video clips or illustrations. That's even more lively. Yeah. Use various social media. Of course, uh, what I list here are all familiar to you. Uh, you have Instagram, you have Facebook. Uh, recently, you also have TikTok and YouTube. Yes. These are very versatile means of uh, uh, social media 
which can cater for the various needs of your promotion. It can displays the it can display the your products. It can display you as the owner. It can present stories. Yeah. Um, it can present testimonies from your customers, from your loyal customers. Yeah. So if you can make the best use of this social media, uh, your promotion will work even better and is likely to be effective. Yeah. So remember, content writing, some tips that I have explained, and then use various social media, exploit them so that they work for your advantage they work for your brand yeah okay okay students that's it uh, thank you for listening we are going to uh, have some assignments i'm going to assign some some tasks for you uh, most of whom most of which will be a various application of what i have explained here yeah. so be ready to write a blog be ready to create content, uh, verbal content or visual content, yeah? and be ready to learn more about how to promote your stuff uh, through Instagram, uh, Facebook, and YouTube. Goodbye, see you later in my next episode.